Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is video about applied maximum and minimum problems. Here is the step in solving the maximum and minimum problems. First, draw an appropriate figure and label the quantities. Next, find the formula for the quantity to be maximized or minimized. Then, identify the quantity to be maximized or minimized as a function of one variable. Next, find the value of x when f from x equal to 0. Then, find f double from x and substitute the value of x to confirm the maximum or minimum value. Lastly, substitute the x value into the function fx. Look at this example. A closed container made of thin metal is in the shape of a cylinder. Find the minimum area of the metal required if the container is to hold a volume of 250 pi cm3. So first, we make sure our figure here is cylinder is a closed container. So we have a figure of cylinder. And closed container means we have the bottom and also on the top. Then given in the question, the volume of the cylinder is 250 pi cm3. So we can write a volume as V is equal to 250 pi. And then uh, we can put the formula of volume for cylinder is pi r square h. So pi r square h will be equal to 250 pi. Then, please take note, in our question, we want to find the minimum area of the matter. So, we need to uh, explain the formula of area, area for cylinder. Let's say we put A is referred to area. So, area for cylinder will be equal to 2 pi r square. Because a closed cylinder, we have a top and bottom. So, we have 2 pi r square. Plus, the body of the cylinder is 2 pi r h. 2 pi r h. So, now we want to find the minimum area. That means we need to differentiate function area. But look here, in our function area, we have two variables, variable r and h. So we need to uh, formulate this formula to be uh, one variable only. So from here, we can write h equal to 250 over r square. So we can substitute h to area formula. So a will be equal to 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r substitute h 250 over r square. So function A will be equal to 2 pi r square plus 500 over r, 500 pi over r. Now, to find the minimum area, we need to differentiate function area. So function area is in terms of r, so we need to differentiate function a dA over dr. 
equal to differentiate 2 pi r square we get 4 pi r plus differentiate 500 pi over r uh, this one we need to change to 500 pi r negative 1 so differentiate this one we get uh, negative 500 pi r the power of negative 1 minus 1 negative 2 equal to 4 pi r minus 500 pi over r square then equate the first derivative equal to 0 and then find the value of r so here we will get uh, 4 pi r equal to 500 pi over r square so r cube will be equal to 500 pi over 4 r is equal to 1 to 5 So r will be equal to cube root 1 to 5 equal to 5. Next, we need to find a uh, second derivative. Find d2a over dr square equal to differentiate 4 pi r equal to 4 pi. Differentiate negative 500 pi over r square will be equal to positive uh, 1000. 500 multiplied by 2, 1000 over r cube. Next, substitute the value of r equal to 5 into the second derivative. We will get positive value. If we substitute r equal to 5, we will get positive value. Means this value is the minimum value. To find the minimum area, we need to substitute r equal to 5 into the function area. So a here is equal to 2 pi r square plus 500 pi over r. So we substitute uh, r equal to 5. 5 square plus 500 pi over r substitute 5. So a equal to 150 pi cm square. Minimum area is equal to 150 pi cm square. Look at this question. An empty container is filled with detergent liquid. The height of the liquid in the container is xcm and its volume is vcm cube, where v is equal to 1 over 2 pi x multiplied by 5 minus x. The question of determine the value of x so that the volume of the container is maximum. Then find the maximum value of v. So given in the question is the volume of the container is v is equal to 1 over 2 pi x multiplied by 5 minus x. And then determine the value of x so that the volume of the container is maximum so we need to differentiate function v find first derivative so our function v in terms of x so to differentiate this one we will find dv over dx first we can simplify our v will be equal to uh, 5 over 2 pi x minus 1 over 2 pi x square. So dv over dx will be equal to differentiate 5 over 2 pi x. We get 5 over 2 
pi minus differentiate 1 over 2 pi x square we get pi x then equate the first derivative to 0 and then find the value of x now we can write 5 over 2 pi equal to pi x so we get x equal to pi uh, 5 over 2 next we need to find second derivative to make sure the value of x equal to 5 over 2 is maximum or minimum value all right now find second derivative d2v over dx square equal to differentiate 5 over 2 pi 0 and then differentiate negative pi x we get negative pi so our second derivative is uh, negative value means uh, maximum value means uh, x equal to 5 over 2 is the maximum value so it confirmed uh, x equal to 5 over 2 is the maximum value as uh, required of the question then find the maximum value of v so we will substitute x equal to 5 over 2 into function v so v equal to 1 over 2 pi x substitute x equal to 5 over 2 multiply by 5 minus 5 over 2 calculate this one we will get 9.8 175 cm3. So the maximum volume is 9.8175 cm3. Next example, an open top box with a square base has a capacity of 4 m3. Find the dimension of the box so that the surface area is minimum. Hence, determine the minimum surface area. First, make sure our figure here is open top box. So we have a box with square base. Square base. Because of open top box, so we just have a tail piece for our box. And then uh, we have the square base, means if we have the the x here so we have x here but we don't know their height so we put another variable let's say y for their height and then given in our question the capacity of box is 4 meter cube so this is v so we, we need to find a formula for volume for box is uh, x square y will be equal to 4 the question want us to find the dimension of the box so that the surface area is minimum so we need to produce formula for surface area of box So the surface area of box, first we have a base. Our base here is x multiplied by x is x square. And then plus their body, we have x multiplied by y and we have uh, 4xy. Because we want to find the minimum area, so we need to differentiate function area. We need to differentiate function a. So our function a here, we have two variables x and y. So we need to uh, change to uh, just uh, one variable. So from here, we can write y equal to 4 over x square. Then 
we can substitute this y into function area. So a equal to x square plus 4x substitute y 4 over x square. So a equal to x square plus 16 over x. Next, differentiate function a respect to x. So dA over dx equal to differentiate x square we get 2x. Differentiate 16 over x is negative 16 over x square. Then equate the first derivative to 0 to find the value of x. Now we can write 2x equal to 16 over x square. So x cubed equal to uh, 16 over 2, 8. So x equal to cube root 8 equal to 2. So you get x equal to 2. Next, we need to find second derivative to make sure is it our x uh, equal to 2 is the maximum or minimum value. Alright, now find second derivative d2a over dx square equal to differentiate 2x to differentiate negative 16 over x square we get positive 32 over x to the power of 3. Just now we get our value x equal to 2. So substitute x equal to 2 into the second derivative. So we get 2 plus 32 over x square x cube. So substitute x equal to 2. 2 to the power of 3. So we get uh, second, deriv second derivative is the positive value means uh, minimum value for x equal to 2. Next, we want to find the dimension of the box uh, means we need to find the value of y. So, uh, just now we have formula y equal to 4 over x square and then substitute uh, our x just now x equal to 2 so substitute x equal to 2 so we get y equal to 1 now we want to find minimum surface area by using formula area just now we have area a is equal to x square plus 4xy so we can substitute the value of x is equal to 2 square plus 4 x is 2, y is 1. Calculate this one, we get 12. So the minimum surface area is 12. The unit is meter square.